my name is Christina Sindri and today we are going to be doing this Christmas morning makeup look. I'm always the last one to wake up, <laughs> so I'll drag my myself out of bed. We'll open presents and then we'll eat, take pictures, watch movies, and we really don't do too much. And I think even for this year, we'll probably just end up staying home. And I wanted to create a look that was simple, but still a little bit glam. I'm gonna be on my IG stories, I'm gonna be on my snap, I'm gonna be taking pictures. So, <laughs> I'd like to add a little bit of something just to make sure that I'm camera ready. So if you're in my boat where you're not really doing much, you're just kind of kicking back with family and you really don't have to get all glammed up, then I really like this look because I think it's just a nice way to have a little bit of sparkle and, you know, bring in some holiday cheer. And I'm super, super girly. There's nothing red in my outfit. I'm wearing a pink, pink Santa hat, actually. This hat is so cute. I got it from Victoria's Secret, I think maybe like, I don't know, like five, six years ago, but it is seriously like the cutest Santa hat. You will never see me wearing another Santa hat unless it's my pink one, and I sell little rhinestones on it, so I super love it. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> I'm a total girly girl, I love pink, and I thought this was a super cute Christmas look, so. So I'm going to start with the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coat on my eyes. How beautiful is this shade? I mean, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you right now just so that you can see it. As much as I love my acrylics, they really get in the way. I like don't want to stab the powder because I know that I'm going to be super mad if I do that. So I don't know if you can see this, but it is just so shimmery and so pretty. I absolutely love this. So, um, so I've been seeing a lot of brands doing these top coats for eyes. So really, um, in case you don't know what it's used for, it's really just meant to achieve that chrome finish. So if you put, like, so this is bronze, right? So if you were to take a berry shadow or a purple or a blue, you can throw this right on top and it gives you like a chrome finish. It's okay. Oh my god, this makes me really, really upset right now. I don't even know what to do with myself. God, the show must go on, I guess. That still makes me so sad. Oh my god. Okay, I'm done being a drama queen. Let's continue. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Natasha Denona top coat on my ring finger, and then I am going to just slowly apply this to the lid. I still can't believe I just broke my freaking highlighter. That just makes me so upset slash mad slash frustrated slash annoyed slash everything. Okay, I'm done complaining now, I promise. I might complain one more time. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, I'm done. For reals this time. Ah! So pretty. Love it. We are going super, super simple today, so I'm literally just going to apply one coat of mascara just to finish off the eyes. I love Christmas morning because we literally don't do anything at my house. I mean, that's not true. We open presents and then my mom usually makes some sort of Indian breakfast. So we'll do like curry and we'll do puri sometimes. We'll do, um, my mom makes this like Indian potato stew. So we'll eat that with idli. Like I'm South Indian in case you didn't figure that out already. So, um, yeah, we'll do all that in the morning, and then we pretty much just like eat the entire day. My sister Rachel loves to bake, and she's so good at baking pie, cookies. She makes these white chocolate chip maraschino cherry cookies, and I know they don't sound that great because I personally don't really even like maraschino cherries, but she makes the most amazing ones, and I swear they should be entered in like a bake-off because they are that good eyes are done so now we're gonna move on to the face no there's tea everywhere <laughs> oopsies and this is my sister's room so let's not tell her about this shall we i'm really enjoying the holidays this year because in previous years I don't know, I feel like there's always something that kind of comes up and just kind of shakes the mood a little bit or there's some sort of disappointment or some sort of family member is like just going crazy or something. This is the first year in a long time where I feel like I have truly just taken a step back and just appreciated 
everything that I've been given. This was a really tough year for me and you'll find out in my next couple of videos why. I definitely want to be more personal on my YouTube videos than I have been on my fashion blog. I mean, my fashion blog is all written content mostly and I mean some video on my stories and snap but you haven't really gotten a chance to really know the real Christina. So that's why my channel is called Christina Sundari because Sundari is actually my middle name. Well, my middle name is Sundari Bai, which is all one long fat name. <laughs> um, so my name is Christina Sundari Bai Davis. That's my full name. Um, but I went with Christina Sundari because Sundari is actually a really important name for me. Um, it is tattooed on my back. Anyways, I digress. Yeah, we're gonna dig right into that highlighter that I just annihilated a few minutes ago. So I'm going to take a little bit of this broken highlighter on a Sigma tapered highlighting brush. So that is, this is the E35 brush, perfect for highlighting. I really like it because it gets right into that high point of the cheekbone. So, okay, here we go. This highlighter, for anyone who hasn't used it before, is so pigmented. Use, oh my god, there's highlighter everywhere. Um, but yeah, use caution when using this highlighter. I'm just dusting a little bit onto the cheekbones. Gosh, this highlighter is out of this world. Totally out of this world. It's also Christmas morning, so I mean, if you want to shine like a Christmas tree, then by all means, you do you. So for those of you that don't know, this is the Fenty Beauty Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife. So this particular shade was all over Instagram when Rihanna first launched this makeup line. And when I first tried it on, I wasn't really sure what to think because it's a highlighter that has a lot of glitter in it. And prior to me buying this highlighter, I have always used highlighters with just shimmer. Um, so I would say it's a great highlighter for if you're going out, like maybe if you're going clubbing or something, but I probably wouldn't wear it every day. For the holidays, it is absolutely perfect. I'm loving it with all of my Christmas looks and especially for this video too. I mean, it's Christmas morning, you know, we're going for a little bit of shine, so I think it's absolutely perfect. So now that we've got our highlights, we are gonna pop on just a little bit of blush. So this is actually one of my favorite shades. So this is by Hourglass and it's the shade Euphoric Fusion. When I take pictures on Christmas, I there are years where I literally who's texting me right now. There are literally years where I roll out of bed, I don't even wash my face. I don't even know if I brush my teeth. And then I look at the pictures and I'm like, oh my god, I look so terrible. This look is great if you just want a really, really nice, you know, shimmery glam for family pictures when you're at home or your Insta stories. So we're gonna finish off with the lips. Now, I am gonna be doing a pink glittery lip because I have a really cute pink Santa hat that is gonna look so good with this look um, on Christmas morning. But it's totally up to you if you wanna use pink or if you wanna use red. I mean, that's kinda like the classic. I'm gonna be using this duo right here and this is from Urban Decay. I actually got it on sale at Sephora for 15 bucks for this duo so I think they might still have them there but I don't know so we're gonna be using this today. I'm really not that into glitter lipsticks anymore just because they get all over the place. One thing I will say though is if you are planning on smooching someone under the mistletoe, you might not want to go with a glitter lipstick just because it does smear everywhere and it is really hard to get off so maybe opt for just a gloss because I am going to be putting a gloss on top of this. My mom was making fun of me because I said I wanted to do pink. I am literally a pink lipstick junkie. It's actually really disgusting how many pink lipsticks I have. Oh my god, it's so pretty. My friend Shilpa actually told me about this shade and it looks really good on her. So I was like, why not? Way to look at Shilpa. Now to wrap this look up, I'm just going to take a clear gloss. So this is the gloss from Glossier. I really like this one because it gives just a nice crystal finish, but I mean, any gloss you have will work. I don't want to smear any of the glitter, so that's why I'm just using tapping motions to apply the gloss. And this is the finished look. 
thank you so much you guys for joining me on today's video I hope you liked it I know it's a little different from the traditional red lips and red Santa hat but I have always been one of those people that's like if I'm using glitter on my eyes then it has then I can't have glitter on my lips and then if I have glitter on my lips then I can't have glitter on my eyes and now I'm just like glitter everywhere glitter eyes glitter highlighter glitter lips glitter nails <laughs> No, I'm just one big Christmas tree ornament, so that's okay. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button so that you can see all of my other videos that I have coming. If you want notifications, make sure to click the bell so you get an email every time I post a new video. And I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, don't you like my snowman mug? I love my snowman mug. If you guys like hot chocolate, I really love hot chocolate. This is tea, not hot chocolate. But if you have a chance this holiday season to do hot chocolate and peppermint schnapps. So, I mean, it is an alcoholic drink. So, I mean, you have to drink alcohol. My dad is a really big eggnog person. So, we're going to do eggnog with a little bit of buttered rum. So, that sounds really good. Cool.